Hey guys, welcome back to the third part of how to make Jarvis series. In this part I will show you, how to make Jarvis to open websites and system apps. To make the Jarvis to open websites, we need to import a module, web browser. Let's give the query as open YouTube, as we say open YouTube, then the below entered function will run. Now we need to enter the path of a browser, in which the Jarvis have to open the website, we can also leave it, then it will open the default browser of your PC, here I am entering the path of the Chrome. Change these backslashes in the path, into this dual slashes. And Enter the URL of the website here. Good afternoon boss. I am Jarvis. Please tell me how can I help you? Open YouTube. Here you go to YouTube, boss. Open YouTube. Here you go to YouTube, boss. Now copy paste the same, and enter the name of the other website name in the place of YouTube and change the YouTube's URL into that website's URL. Now let's see how to open system apps, to make this we need OS module, as we already imported this module in second part. If you did not seen that yet, click the top right of the video to open that video. Now copy the file location of the app you want to open.
Good afternoon boss. I am Jarvis, please tell me how can I help you. Open notepad. Opening notepad. Open YouTube. Here you go to YouTube, boss. Open Notepad. Opening Notepad. Like this, do the same to all the apps. To make the Jarvis to exit on command, just simply enter that, if exit in query, exit. Good evening boss. I am Jarvis, please tell me how can I help you. Open hood. Okay, exit. Thanks for giving me your time. In part 4, I will show all the things that we can do with PyAuto GUI module, such as copy-paste, YouTube video controls, etc. Subscribe to get notified and visit our website for the code and more details. Sketch with Tej.science on the web.net.